This is Chiara Mattelli for the Hot Corn Italy. Mm -hmm. You look pretty Italian. Did you know that? Yeah, half of me. <laughs> half of me is pretty Italian. Really? Yeah, Sicilian. My dad's, yeah, 100% Sicilian. Half? Like, have a passport and everything. Half, just half. Oh, right, okay, okay. Then I'm English, Irish, Scottish, and French on my mom's side. But you don't have I'm a European. European. I mean, I'm kind of European, like, across the you're, you're, you're not American at all. No, I'm super American. <laughs> super. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm a man of the world. Man. I'm a man of the world. There we go. You're a man of the woods. I'm a man of the woods in the city. Sorry. No, sorry. Just <laughs> looking at you, you're really talented. I don't know what but, that means. Congratulations on the movie. Thank it was you. very, very uh, touching. And Thank you. Um, this, this was a book that inspired many, many people. I just yeah. wonder yes. what, what did you get from it, from this story? And, and I mean, what a great starting place to have a beautiful Garth Stein novel. Um, you know, the messaging behind, messaging behind the movie, I mean, of course you have this family, this family that is uh, living their lives, loving their lives, challenged in their lives because of the things that happened to them, but yet there's a constant with this dog that is watching this family and, and taking everything he can from their experience and imprinting it on his soul so that when he becomes a human in his next life, he will have a successful life as a person. And I just thought it was a, a beautiful view into an existence that hopefully we can all try to live in, which is being more present and yeah. taking these lessons and really, really marking our souls with them so that we can be better people. Yeah, animals, especially domesticated animals like dogs, um, are really have a lot to teach us, and I think we get so much from them than they get from us. And to have this perspective and have this expression in this way, like actual narration from a dog, is hilarious and exactly what we need for you know a renewed perspective. Sure, but uh, also the relationship between the two of you is very very natural because of, of course we can't give spoilers, like but it was a tricky thing to do so I, how did the two of you bond it to make it's, it's just her I it mean, was, she, it, yeah she's right just, no 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 I'm was, saying but I'm saying like you're Amanda's just an amazing human being so and then on top of it she's fiercely talented like I, I I would tell people and you could list because I feel like I've said this before in front of you but it wasn't that I believed her in the character she believed herself she believed the experience she was having was real and as an actor all I'm doing at that point is just leaning in even more so that she has that support Thanks. and that love and that safety of exposing yeah. those emotions. But we were 100% in it oh, together. Oh yeah, totally. Right. Like totally. he believed it as much as that. I, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a perfect matchup. It was just yeah. a perfect matchup. And, and, and in terms of like when we um, met, it was like an instantaneous mm -hmm. like, oh, I feel very safe yep. and I feel like we could have a lot of fun. Yeah. Right. And it shows. It's yeah, very totally. important. And it's, yeah. it's very lucky. And it's um, somewhat rare. Yeah, it doesn't always happen. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't always happen. Yeah. It totally right. doesn't always happen. I thought one of the messages of the movie is also, I mean, one thing that uh, Anso, the dog, says, mm -hmm. the manifestation of uh, reality is what you make of it, basically. Sure. I wonder if for you, was it like that? Did you uh, manifest your success as an actor? An actress? I think you have to believe in yourself. I think you really truly have to believe in yourself and you have to know where to put your energy and your yeah. focus and like really believe in it and yeah that which you manifest is before you I think the, this, the same the same thing can be said about creating your own conditions if you show up to a negative situation but you bring positivity you're gonna automatically change the dynamic, yeah, dynamic of what's happening in the room. For the better. So you can, in a way, manifest it. You can create it. You just have to really, really believe in it. That's so true. Optimism is so powerful. Hmm. It's so powerful, and that's why I love how this movie ends, too, because it takes you through a ride, like mm -hmm. a ride that I think we desperately need as moviegoers, but also it just brings you back around. You're like, okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I can sleep tonight. Yeah. Right. And when it comes to racing in the rain, um, the, I'm talking about the, the actual condition oh, of yeah. racing a yeah. car in the rain. Um, apparently, what brings up is like, you know, is the instinct um, of the driver that yeah. wins and kind of levels out, oh, yeah. or you know, the engine power and it comes sure, out sure, the, sure. the skill. So I just wonder, how do you cope with your instinct? Was a do you follow it? Is it usually a good? 
advisor in life. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, listen, you born with it. Yeah, and, and you're a great person, so I think your instinct is always going to be of love and positivity all right. and all well, yeah, that. We, yeah. are, we want to create a better world for ourselves mm-hmm. and for our, the people we love. And so if your intentions are pure, like ours are, then your instinct, you can follow them. I mean, mm-hmm. if I was a psychopath, I would probably <laughs> be told to not follow my instincts, and I would, that would be right, you know? How are you saying that? <laughs> no, 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 she's definitely not. <laughs> okay, thank you for Thanks your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you so much.